This technique is for ethical usage only and you should gain permission from the owner first. The first task for this is to change directory to my desktop. It will be easier for me to show what is happening if my files are stored here. By using the touch command, I create a file called gmanimportant.txt. This is going to be the initial file for storing very important information that requires password protecting. Next, I will use the echo command to input some highly important data in, as you can see it is very important. I have output the details using the greater than sign into the gman important file. Just so you can see the data is present in the file, we can use the cat command to see the contents of the file, so the data is contained within the file for future protecting. The next stage is to create the RAR file and password protect it. For this, we are going to be using an application called RAR, using A and then a minus P for password. Name the file what you want, in my case I call it importantstuff.rar. Follow that with the name of the original file containing the data, in this case, gmanimportant.txt. It will now ask for you to input a secure password, then type it in again. As you can see, it now appears on the desktop as a RAR file. Get rid of the original file as this has now been stored within the RAR file itself. To prove the file is password protected, you can click on it and ensure that it works by inputting a DUF password. As you can see, I cannot get in. The next important element is to create the hash of this file by using an app called RAR2JOHN. If you just use this command, followed by the RAR file name, it will show the hash of the file. But what we want is to output the hash into a file, so we will use the greater than sign and following file name password.hash to achieve this, which now also appears on the desktop. For the last element of this, we are going to use the John application for the cracking of the password. Firstly, type John in the CLI and then follow that with the hash file name, password.hash. When cracking files with this technique, we have to use password lists. These can be huge files with thousands of stored passwords. If you have your own, you follow the command above with hyphen hyphen word lists and the location of your password file. However, in this case I am just going to use the default password list used by John, which is stored in the user, share, John folder. It's called password.list. So just press enter and it will begin going through your stored password list. And there you have it, it has thrown up the password for the RAR file, a far too easy password and not secure at all. We can test the fact by opening the RAR file on the desktop and inputting the cracked password. By inputting the password we have just found using John, we now have access to the original message. This is an important lesson to always use a tricky password, or a password manager application, to avoid anyone gaining access to important data. Thanks for watching this easy to follow video today from the G-Man channel on how to ethically hack WinRAR files. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and we will see you again soon.